G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 26th, 2024's Renman Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ, so my, my name is Bill Murphy. It's my pleasure, nay, my honor to be solving this one for you today. Uh, so, uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve our own uh, genuinely approachable variant Sudokus, sometimes classics. I do love me a good classic Sudoku. Um, but we do them for you, free of charge. You can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. Uh, you'll also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Don't forget to drop your hat times in the comments. For each uh, hat, I will pat Betty. Betty is my dog. She is down here. All right. Um, Let's get into it, because uh, if memory serves, it's been a while since I did this one, um, it's a banger. Um, so, in this puzzle, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. Now, each pink line contains a set of consecutive digits in any order. So, uh, well, what's a what's a fairly nondescript one? Uh, all of these are fairly restricted. So, uh, that one is six and seven. It could be. It could be other things too. You simply just don't know. Um, but that being said, uh, that's it. That's all you need to solve the puzzle. Um, and yeah, let's just let's just get into it. So. Um, with this puzzle, I'll tell you right now, most of these Renbans are extraordinarily restricted. Now, if you've never seen a Renban Sudoku before, some of these lines are, you already know what must go on them. Because this is a three cell line, uh, with a one on it, it must also have a two and a three. Because a two can't go in this cell, this must be three and then two. Uh, over here, we have a one. Two can't go in that cell, so this is two and three. Uh, we don't quite know what that cell is yet, this one is yet, but we know it must have a two and a three. Now, we have over here a nine. Now, a nine must, uh, a three cells uh, thing must have a eight and a seven to go with that nine. This eight looks down here and sees there's cells, so we know it can't be eight. Over here, we have another thing that must be seven and eight. Uh, but, Oh, and this 9 over here, this cell sees the 7 we just placed, so we know that this must be the 8 and this must be the 7. Uh, now, another really common thing that you'll see in Renban Sudoku is uh, Renbans that aren't normally forced, but they're forced in this instant, that because a for some reason you can't place a digit on it. So normally, uh, this 8 thing could be 6, 7, or 8, or 7, 8, and 9. But because we already have a nine in this box, we know that it must be six and seven. And because of those two cells, this one's this uh, seven sees this cell, we know which way around this must go. So that's four and five. Um, can I do anything else kind of cool with that? Oh, yeah, down here. Uh, this five uh, could not, on a three cell thing, could be three, four, five, four, five, six, or five, six, seven. But we have a six here, so we know that this must be three and four. We just placed a three, uh, four, five pair up here, meaning this must be three and four. Uh, now, the other thing about Renban uh, lines is we know that this must have a negative constraint applied to it. Uh, so, because, uh, well, even the fact that we've got the one and the seven up here, um, you couldn't put a one on a three cell Renban line with a six because you'd have to go one, two, six. And the math simply does not math. Uh, so that's seven and one. Uh, this six here, the five sees this cell. So we know that this must be an eight, which sees this cell over here, seven and eight. Uh, this is two and three. Uh, five and seven left to place in this box. We have a seven here. So we know that this must be five. Uh, what's this cell? Well. Uh, if we have a 6 and a 7, we can either have an 8 on one end or a 5 on the other because this 8 up here sees this cell. Let me know that that must be 5. Um, hmm, 
All right, uh, this five over here sees this four. So uh, we know that it can't go up from there. So we know it must be two and three. Two sees this cell, so that's three and two. Uh, now we have six, seven, and nine left to place, but Sudoku tells us that seven can't go in those two cells. So seven must go here. What digit goes between five, five and seven? It must be a six. Uh, so this has to be uh, six and nine, nice. Um, but six is this cell, so that's nine and that's six. Uh, this is four and five. This is just a nine. Um, and then what do we got off to place? Let's let's go down the bottom and finish this thing off. Oh, that's a fancy bit of uh, Renban logic. This cell sees a one and a three. Um, so this can only be a four because that's the highest it can go, meaning this must be a three. Uh, pardon me for two seconds. Oh. Um, this cell over here needs to be a one and a, uh, we need to put a one and a five here. Uh, one needs to have uh, be on a rem band with four, but only if it's four cells long, meaning this must be five and this is one. Uh, three and six can go either way there, but this is a three. Oh, no, it's not. It's a five. Mm, that's pretty. Mm. Uh, four over here. Me, uh, five up here, uh, one, four, and eight, uh, two, nine, and six. Oh, this is a four, this is a five, so this is one and four. Uh, one and three left to place over here, but this rem down line, which I've just completely avoided, uh, two and four must have a three to have three consecutive digits. This rem down line over here needs to have a seven because it's got a six and an eight on it. Uh, this is a one. We have a two, six, and nine over here. Um, and then this is two, nine, and six. Two, nine, and six. Uh, so that is a chocolate teapot of a triple. Um, we still don't know which way around that goes. This is uh, this is nine, uh, which knocks that out, out of there. And this is a one, four, and an eight. So once again, another chocolate teapot triple. Uh, the reason why they're called chocolate teapots uh, is, you know, they're about as useful. Um, so in this scenario, what what digits do we have a lot of that we can start using to rule other stuff out? We have a lot of fives looking in the center. So five goes there. Uh, oh, nice spot, Bill. Um, this is a naked single. Uh, we need to place two, three, six, and seven in column five, and this spot here has two, three, and seven looking at it. So this is a six, which is going to do quite a bit, I hope. Uh, oh, not quite, but that's two, that's nine, and that's six. This six is pretty good for us because it looks up here. So we know that this can't be five, six, it must be five, four. Uh, one and four over here. Uh, that's an eight, a one, and a four. Uh, one over here. Uh, what's this? Uh, it can't be six because th these two cells are five and seven. So we can have a five, six, or a set six, seven. So this must be a three. And because we've already placed a four in this box, that must be a two. So that's six, two, six, seven, and yet another banger from Clover. Um, this has been Renban Sudoku. My name is still Bill Murphy. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm going to go finish off dinner now. Um, cheers.